What's good, good people? Welcome to OVS. Thank you for clicking that thumbnail. Today, we're just going to talk about this announcement that was just made public that Pedro Pascal has been selected to be Reed Richards in the MCU. I got to be honest, I don't care, y'all. I, I, I don't feel very strongly about it either way. I think Pedro Pascal is kind of being spread pretty thin. We have him here in the MCU now as Reed Richards. We also have him in the Last of Us universe, but he's likely going to exit if you know the games and you know where they're probably going with season two is a good chance that you won't get much of him in those subsequent seasons. You also have him present in the Star Wars universe as the Mandalorian, but at this point, uh, Pedro Pascal's role is really just voice acting. He's not in the suit, he's not on the set, he's just reading lines that are like, put through enough filters that make him sound like he's in the helmet, but he's not in the helmet, he's not on the set. So I'm fine with the amount of workload that he has. I don't think that his commitments in these other places are gonna hinder his ability to fulfill like reshoots and shooting the MCU films. This coming up here though does kind of lean its hand towards them kind of shifting towards Dr. Doom. And I'm gonna do a whole video talking about that. Uh, actually, this should be done already, but technicalities occurred. And so I'm gonna re-record that video just talking about the move that it appears like they're making from Kang in the multiverse saga to Doctor Doom and whatever saga or whatever that's gonna be for the MCU moving forward. But having Pedro as, as Reed Richards, the only problem I think I could find with it is his age. It's like, how long is he going to play that role? How many films is he gonna be connected and like committed to do and uh, like, what's the significance of the Fantastic Four moving forward? Because if you're going to do Doctor Doom, I imagine Fantastic Four has to be like a real big part of that story moving forward. So I'm, I'm thinking a lot of cameos. I'm thinking at least two to three films, if not four films. It gets real, it gets real complicated when you start thinking about how big of an impact a character is going to make when we don't know the plans moving forward. So as long as they know and they stick to the plan, which is a central problem that I'm having with Marvel right now, if they stick to the plan, I'm fine. I'm fine with whatever they do because I've always been willing to accept whatever it is they throw out on the screen and just try to have fun with it because that's what we're supposed to be doing with movies and TV shows, especially the comic book based properties. We're supposed to be enjoying it. And so... I like Pedro Pascal, I think I'm gonna enjoy it. So those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Enjoy yourself, guard your heart, and go watch something good.